Okay, thank you everybody for joining today. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Angela Petrini. I'm a channel manager here at Convergia. I am based in Northern California, and I appreciate you taking the time today to learn a little bit more about the Convergia UCAS and cloud offerings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a quick slide deck. It's only four or five, just to kind of give you an overview of Convergia, 30,000 foot, of what we do, where we operate, uh, and how we deliver our services. Uh, and then I'm going to be turning over to Guillermo, Guillermo, our cloud manager, who will discuss the UCAS and cloud offerings. There he is. And then I want to leave plenty of time open for Q&A so you guys get, <clears throat> get all your questions in and answer everything on the Converger solution. So having said that, I will go ahead and begin my quick little slide. And so uh, a little bit of the background on Converger. Uh, Converger is a Pan American value added distributor. So we obviously operate in the LATAM market of uh, the United States um, and in I Canada. Know. We're, we're not seeing your screen. Oh, sorry. Bear with me one second. Okay. Does that help? There you go. Thank All you. All right. My apologies. It's okay. Okay. So Convergia, uh, we're a Pan American value added distributor. Um, so we operate in the LATAM market, Mexico, Central America, South America, uh, as well as Canada and the United States. Uh, we've been around for 20 plus years. Um, we run a full 365, 24 by seven support uh, in every region for our customers and our partners and distributors. Uh, we are expanding globally into EMEA, Europe and Pan American, um, the Pacific region as well. Uh, and on top of it, we are a member of Future Electronics, which is a multi-billion dollar company of hardware that's distributed around the world. Uh, Convergia is headquartered in Montreal, Canada, uh, but we do have uh, our US office is headquartered in Miami, Florida, and we have regional offices in South America. So Mexico City, Buenos Aires, um, Lima, Peru, Santiago, Chile. So we do provide all regional support and regional offices at that level, whether it's on a technical level, billing level, et cetera. So we're able to provide that as well to all the customers and partners that operate in those regions. Um, again, as mentioned, here's a little bit about our, our Pan American presence and our footprint. So we do have POPs here uh, throughout the states and Central America and South America as well. We are expanding, uh, continuously expanding to provide a more of a, a global reach is certainly within our market space that we operate in and where our core competency is, which is in the, the LATAM market as well. So if there's opportunities in Venezuela, if there's opportunities in, in Mexico, Brazil, uh, we certainly can be able to provide any of those kind of services in our product stack to you and your customers. Um, a little bit about our product stack that I mentioned. So we have basically have three pillars here. So we have the connectivity, voice, and solutions. Um, Guillermo is going to delve down deeper into the voice and cloud services here in a little bit. Just want to kind of give you an overview of what we offer. So we offer your typical wireline connections, um, our CX Flex, direct and dynamic. Those are into our cloud providers or operators that we work with, which is Google, Microsoft, Azure, Salesforce, uh, all of the players in that space. Uh, additionally, if there's SD-WAN solutions that you're looking at, we can certainly provide them cross borders. We're able to deliver those security solutions as well uh, on the edge side through the gateway. Fiber services are available as well. Um, so we're able to, um, you know, aggregate with the, you know, the carriers here in the United States as well as the carriers in, in the LATAM market. And obviously we do provide last mile connectivity as well. So you could either be on net, near net, um, through conversion on any of your opportunities that you find uh, in any of those regions. Uh, point to point, wireless, uh, and then we're operating uh, heavily right now into the IoT space. So that's a very solid market for us right now as we're moving heavy into that space. Uh, the voice side, <clears throat> so we had your typical voice solutions that we would offer, uh, 3CX, um, then we offer the Teams direct routing solutions as well. Um, we could provide you the WebEx uh, calling platform as well broad cloud, and then uh, any of those markets that um, that we operate in, we could provide SIP trunking as well. Um, and then the solution set, um, many of the solution set that you see listed there is into the IoT space. Um, we're moving heavy into that. So 
anything as far as maybe smart agriculture, environment. Uh, we have solar customers. We have trucking companies. We have agriculture, agriculture irrigation companies, lighting. All of that um, is now underneath the conversion umbrella to provide any kind of con connectivity or complete solution selling into that space for the customer. So that's a, a big market for us right now that we're heavily involved in. Um, there's some additional benefits here as well through um, through Convergia. So obviously, uh, you know, we will customize any of the, the propositions for the customer directly. So we will work with them on their commercial objectives. Um, and what that basically means to you is that we bring in our sales engineers, our product specialists, anybody and everybody within Convergia to help work with you and your customers to help deliver exactly the solution that they're looking for. So you're not just left up to a channel manager or you know somebody that maybe not have the core competency to deliver on exactly what the customer wants. We do have all the staff available to you and your customers to help deliver exactly what you're looking for. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Additionally, uh, we're one of the very few, if not the only one, that actually provides local billing. So um, you know, we pay all of our agents in uh, in U.S. dollars, but um, let's say that somebody's opening up an office in Mexico City, that office is responsible for their own billing. We could bill in pesos there, or if it's in Brazil, it's a Brazilian dollar, or you know, in Peru, any of the local currencies, we're able to um, bill in those currencies directly. So that kind of gives us a lot of flexibility to to your customers of how you want the customized billing done. Uh, as mentioned earlier, too. Um, you have direct relationship with our C-level management. So anybody uh, on our C-level management, whether it's our VP of wholesale or engineering, if it's a VP of channel, if it's a VP of cloud, whatever, they are all available to you as well to help you solve any of the solutions for you and your customers to deliver the product that they're looking to, uh, to achieve. Uh, and then furthermore, uh, as mentioned, uh, you have full support 24 by seven in any language. So if it's in Brazil, if they need somebody on the call for Portuguese, we're able to deliver on that or Spanish, um, United States, obviously English, and we could also provide French and English in, in Canada as well. So we are able to provide the full service and support to you and your customers in any language to help uh, mitigate any kind of uh, problems moving forward in that respect. So that'll give you a little bit about the overview of Conversia. Uh, on that, I am now going to go ahead and turn it over to Guillermo. Guillermo is going to delve down a little deeper into the product stack, uh, and then I'm going to leave it open for any question and answers at the end of the presentation um, for anybody that have, might have anything regarding Conversia. Thank you for that. Sorry, I was in mute. Can you please let me know if you can see my screen? Yes, yes we can see. see your screen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angelo. As Angelo was mentioning, I mean, we have a, a, a Pan American presence where we can cover our solutions on different countries like United States, Canada, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Argentina, Brazil. What is the biggest advantages that we have that we can help your customers that they are in the United States, they have a different offices in different countries and they need to communicate. We can help them to do that, talking the same language, same uh, billing process and everything. And we can help the customer with those solutions. We are experts on that. Uh, that is the Pan American presence and we can <clears throat> Uh, help those customers even on our, our portfolio that we have with the voice. On the voice, we have the following portfolio. That is the 3CX, that is a robust uh, a hosted PBX on the cloud that we do everything for the customer and we provide a full service. It is from the beginning, we set up everything for those and we can help those customers. Also, we provide the WebEx Cisco WebEx calling that is the uh, emphasis that they're putting uh, on the telephony part uh, to cover uh, the collaboration part. We can develop and deliver this application all the way in the Pan American uh, countries. Also, we provide the direct routing for Microsoft Teams on 
each one of the countries that I'm telling you, uh, we have that solution and we can provide that to the customer uh, the too. And finally, and not least, uh, we mean on the telephony part, we can provide the zip trunkies, we can provide you with the infrastructure, channels, DIDs, uh, plans of minutes and everything uh, in each one of the countries uh, with a local um, telephony that we have. I mean, we are a, a full robust uh, telecommunication company. We, we can provide those services in each one of those countries. Uh, we can provide the numbers, we can provide the billing, we can provide everything that you need in those countries. Our, our the strange are to help those customers on that. And for that, I'm going to put some examples. Um, we have customers that they have uh, headquarters in the United States uh, so far. They have offices around Latin America. Uh, they're using, uh, for example, Teams. On those Teams that they're using, they have numbers on each one of those countries, like I'm just putting an example, United States, some numbers in, in Canada some numbers in Colombia, and they have the full PBX on the cloud. They have uh, IVRs or uh, automatic answer machines that answered in each one of those countries. Uh, they answered in Spanish, they, they have any um, on, on, in Colombia, they, uh, they have the machine also answering in English or with the number in, in, in the United States to answer those calls. And they have another one that they answer the calls in Canada with the French, all in the same system with the numbers on each one of the countries. They can communicate locally with the people externally. They can make long distance calls. And we provide a solution to complete the collaboration part from Microsoft. Uh, we just adding the direct value on that part. The same solution we're doing with a 3CS customers, for example. They have offices in Mexico, but um, also they have a different companies, a different subsidiaries in the United States, and also they have subsidiaries in, in Chile, for example, and they have the same solution. The IVRs so or the automatic machines, they are in a different uh, countries with different languages, with specific phone numbers. They answer those calls. They have a call queues, and those call queues, it can be part of the usage that they're around the globe. And that kind of solution, that's the solution that we provide into the customers. Um, we provide that to them. Mm, and this is kind of that solution that we can help uh, you guys to provide to the customer, even if they are in just one country, we do it in one country, but uh, our strength is just to have customers that they have a uh, multiple locations, like the, those locations are located into the Latin American countries we can provide a service for them. Uh, that's one kind of those customers that we're seeing. I'm seeing another customer there. They are in Chile. They work with uh, oil. Uh, they have a different um, location. They have a location in Chile. They have a location in Peru. They have a location in Colombia and Argentina, United States. Uh, there's around 700 uh, users. We provide in telephony uh, for them and then that is going to span in each one of those countries. Um, that's uh, some cases that we can use and or we can put it uh, on that way. Uh, but that is the platform that, that, that we have. Uh, the Microsoft Teams that we know, everyone knows that is uh, Microsoft Teams. We can add the direct routing, that is the telephony part. The WebEx calling is a uh, telephony that we have, and I'm going to explain a little bit about 3CX very quick. Uh, to see what is 3CX. 3CX is a PBX on the cloud where you can have the hosted PBX that is just to make calls, receive more calls, uh, all the features, classified features that you can find in telephony, voicemail, transfer and call, uh, add people to a conference, you can do that part. Also with the 3CS, we have a unified communication where you can have a video presence, you can have a web meeting, you can have chat, that communication, you can do it. These are UCAS or inside the 3CS that you can collaborate. The second part is a call center where they can, you can have the call queues. On that call queues, you can have report, you can have alerts. On those alerts, you can monitor in those, those alerts and those call queues with a, a specific, uh, uh, parameters that you're doing and you're putting into the 
into the configuration and also the supervisor it has the ability to look at reports in the world boards and the switchboard and that is part of that also uh, the last part that is included it is an APIs uh, that it, it could be included and those APIs are to do connection between uh, TRMs like uh, Dynamics, Salesforce, uh, and, and more, and generic uh, CRMs. Also, it can be integrated with Facebook. When into the Facebook, uh, we can integrate it to the uh, page of the company, and we can put that, that integration to a queue. On that queue, it can be attended for uh, different people that they can answer those communications that is happening in the Facebook uh, application. And also it could be integrated with Office 365. As you can see, this solution uh, is a robust solution. It has the telephony, the unified communication, part of the call center and also integration. And this application or this platform, it can be used with our zip trunk and in the zip trunk, we can provide this service on each one of the countries for the, for, for, uh, the customers. It is just in one country like United States, we provide the service there and it include more countries. Also, we can do it and put it on the same instance for those customers. This is like a, a, a high view of the part of the portfolio that we have on voice and one of the products that we handle uh, on our portfolio, that is the, um, the 3CX, WebEx, Microsoft Teams and Zip Trunking. Um, any questions of that? I mean, at the end, we can add those questions and we can have uh, the, the answers, but it, this is just the specific view of the office of the and boys pillar that we have. Now we're gonna have to we're gonna jump to another product. It is one of our products on the on the data part. Uh, that product is called the CC Flex um, uh, that we have, and it's a CC Flex multi cloud. On that CC Flex is uh, very basic. It's a connectivity that we're gonna have uh, to our customers. Uh, and that connectivity is, is very simple, is flexible, is, is, is fast, is secure. And that connectivity is going to help our customers to connect to the multi cloud. And those multi clouds is to the, the connection to the cloud uh, providers, like we're talking about Microsoft using Azure, Amazon, Google, SAP, Oracle, any. Pro cloud provider that they have a data center uh, and they have those services that is the direct connection to the data centers, uh, they, we, we can have that service for them. We just have two flavors on the CC Flex uh, that is going to be, I'm going to explain it right now, that two flavors and the benefits of those, of those flavors that we have and what is the pros and cons and what is the benefit for the uh, for some customers that we have right now and from that you can take some ideas uh, what is this this is the connectivity that is the connectivity that is happening between the customers and the data center of the cloud providers on the csc flex direct uh, that is direct to the multi-cloud it is uh, a simple connection that is established direct into the customers and the and the cloud providers. What is I mean? What is the feature that they 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 they're having? Is is not passing for the internet. It's just a private connection. I'm gonna show you later on how that thing works. Uh, it's gonna be a faster speed. It's gonna be better latency, uh, <clears throat> high variability, strong security and also it's going to be a lower cost. Why lower cost? Because, for example, if you connect to Azure services, uh, doing the direct connect that they have, that is express route from Microsoft, when you're using that connection, the customer, when they downloading the data from Azure, is cheaper than if they're doing it through the internet because they have a direct connection. That direct connection customers just can save 25% of the download that they're doing from the data on, on Azure. I mean, seeing it in a graphic is like, this is the customer. Uh, we have an MPLS network in each one of the countries. We have a pops in, in, in our countries. 
we have in Canada, we have in the United States, we have in Peru, we have in Chile, we have in Argentina and different things. And we create a last mile from that customer to our, our pop in, in, the, in, in the country that we're talking about, even in the US or even in, the, uh, uh, in Chile, for example, we connect that customer to our MPLS network. As soon as we have it into our MPLS network, we connect it to one of those pro providers. This is not using internet. This is using an MPLS network, a private network that we have with the last mile connected directly to those providers that is uh, Microsoft, Google, or Amazon. I'm gonna put some examples. The customers, uh, they, they have offices in Chile, they have offices in Peru. Uh, they, are, they, they, they have a database they need to start um, searching on that on that database. They, they, they have to do a lot of requests. Um, they needed to do it on a private way um, and, and secure. Uh, and even that, they have a latency problems that we help them solve it with this uh, Flex Direct. Um, the thing that they do doing, they have the database in, in, in Microsoft Azure. Uh, they have an instance over there. And each one of the of the countries, they're connected to our pods, and in, inside those pods, we just bring the data that they the, the all queries and everything that they're doing to our network, and in that way, uh, we connect them directly to the Azure portion that they have. Another customer that we have in Chile is um, um, Petrobras. I mean, uh, they, they just have a connection with us from Chile directly to Microsoft Azure services. They have a bunch of applications that they need to have private connections secure. They have to get better latency and that connectivity is right right now over there. We have um, uh, another customer, for example, in Argentina that they, uh, they have a financial um, requests that they have to do with applications that they have uh, in Google, in, in, I'm sorry, in, in Amazon. And those requests, they need to be connected to the um, connect services from, from, from Azure. The only way to get those services is through a uh, direct connection with them, and we provide that part to them. What are they doing? There is transactioning on credit cards and all that kind of things, and they're doing it on a private, uh, connection, uh, it connected directly to the data centers on, on Amazon because those applications are right there. Uh, another case for this, uh, uh, for this use is, for example, we have a customer that they have an application on Amazon. They provide uh, solutions for contact centers and other things. That solution is included into the Azure environment uh, that they have. And we have to provide them those services on the United States, in Mexico, um, Peru, Chile, Argentina, and all that thing it is happening between the connectivity that we have in our MPLS network through uh, the connection that we have with the Amazon's uh, services. And from that services, we provide to move that data that they need in each one of the countries. We just move that data to Mexico. We move the data to uh, Chile. We move the data inside the United States, and that's the result that they have. I mean, uh, that's the only way that they can connect is using that, and that is the connection that, that we have. Like you see, this is a strong product that everyone uh, wants. Um, another thing is like if you, this customer right here, they have um, a full network environment and they want just to extend services in another network that they can develop in Azure or in Amazon. With this connection, it is like if they're doing an extension, a private extension from the network to directly to the, to the, um, um, web services of those cloud providers. Uh, this is how uh, how the, the CCA Flex Direct Multi Cloud works, and that's how we have it. Now we're going to talk about the dynamic. The dynamic portion is going through the internet. Some customers they don't have uh, they don't have they they, they can afford 
um, the solution on a direct way. And also on the direct way, they have to um, know that just to install the last mile is going to take maybe between three and five or six weeks. Maybe they need a quick service, and that is the dynamic service, where the difference is that uh, everything is going through a private connection that we create. We put a CP uh, device in the in the customer office. We connect that device through internet using the CSEX VPN. We do a VPN connection between this box that is here into our uh, data center here in Miami. And from here, we connect that customer to our services into Google or Microsoft or Azure. How are we getting inside those connectivities using our partner? Our, our biggest partner is Megaport. On the Megaport, we just try, uh, partner with them and we connect all services uh, to the different clouds. Um, how are you seeing? This is um, uh, how the product uh, specific, the CSC Flex, works for us. It's a multi cloud uh, product that is, is uh, helping the customers to extend their networks or to connect. The, the the applications that they have and be more secure and robust on the cloud environment. This connectivity is helping those customers to do it. Where is the market that we can uh, focus or we're seeing that they need this kind of solution on the finance um, vertical market, how I'm seeing how we're seeing agriculture, the health part is a, a huge um, a vertical market that is focusing in, in these kind of, of, of solution because they need to have a private connection. And this is one of the um, solutions that they, that, that they have. Insurance companies and also uh, manufacturing. I mean, this is the biggest volume consuming on, on, on data and that they need this, this, this part. What is going to help the, the direct? I mean, uh, connection uh, with with this. It is a private connection to the cloud where they can have and they can trust always. It's not taking different routes on the internet. It's just from our main PLS. It's the same way always. Lower latency that's going through the internet and more secure because it's, it's going to a private network. Uh, it's connecting directly to those uh, cloud providers. Uh, support bandwidth up to 10 gigabytes. It depends on the, the support that they need. We can provide uh, that, that speed for them. And this is the product that we have, how I'm seeing it. We saw the, the voice portfolio, and we focus also on this part that is the CSC Flex connectivity to the cloud, multi-cloud. And that helps also the boss uh, pillar that we have. For sometimes the customers they require the communication going directly, and sometimes the uh, private mode. And with this service, we can provide that to the customers. Uh, like Angelo said, I mean we are a channel partner experience. We work with partners all uh, on, on all the points that that he mentioned. And I mean, this is the presentation that we have for now. And I think that we are open for questions or any other comments that you have. Thank you very much. Does anybody have any questions on the, the solution and anything you guys want to add? Feel free. I'm seeing a question right here in the chat that somebody is asking if we can provide uh, telephony numbers on each one of the countries, uh, even in the United States. The answer is yes, we are. Um, uh, we can provide that in each one of the countries. On the countries that we are allowed because it's a law, we can port the numbers that they're using right now and move it to our network. And from that, you, the, the customer can keep the same number. 
Uh, in some countries, they don't have portability. We can try to see what is the options that we can work on that to keep the numbers or just to bring a new ones. I see that Latanya has her hand raised. Latanya, you can go ahead and ask it. Sorry, Anisha. Latanya Johnson, she has her hand raised. I'm not sure if she okay. already asked, but you can unmute and you can ask your question. Uh, yes, uh, I was on the connection for VPN. Is it VPN only or is there direct internet connection? It is depends. If you're using the CC Flex Direct, you don't need a VPN. I mean, it, you can use the straight uh, uh, communication. If you need a VPN, we can put it right there. And if you use in the dynamics uh, that is an internet connection, you can use it through the internet, but we can we, we will provide a security using a VPN that is better. Okay. We can do an IPsec also that is gonna be like a VPN connection. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody have any other questions? Can we get an email copy of the session once it's done or the PowerPoint slide? Sure. As soon we finish, you're going to have um, a copy of the presentation and also you're going to have uh, a, a copy of the recording of the presentation. OK. Hi, this is Farzala. So uh, Latanya, it's really good to see you here. and. Uh, I appreciate your time. So we definitely will send you some information and also I'm scheduling a call with you tomorrow so we can discuss further. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Perfect. Okay, I'm not seeing more questions. Um, you have our contacts, uh, you can go to convergia.io and if you need any contacts, information or further, you can contact Angelo and our sales department. And from that, uh, we can go deeper on each one of the products and uh, hopefully we can get in touch and, and help you in the next project. Thank you, everybody. If there's no other questions, uh, this will conclude our, uh, our webinar today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Angela. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma.